Hi folks, VM Explorer here. I just wanted to give you a last update on my uh, Gen 5 Home Lab build and let you know how things have been going. So this is the Gen Shaw system board that I've installed. I've moved some of the cables out of the way just to give a little bit better view on the inside. Um, it has been running very well. I've, I've run it with uh, vSphere uh, 6.7, though I've run into a couple technical challenges. I had to make a few adjustments uh, from my original plan to get it to work. Um, and that's what I'm going to discuss here uh, in this particular video. So some of the things that uh, been going on are mostly revolve around the two uh, X16 uh, uh, cards, right? So we got two X16 ports here, which uh, come in handy. Let me get that cable out of the way, All right? We got our NVMe slot here, and then we've got uh, two PCIe one uh, slots here for the I/O for this particular system board. Uh, what I was attempting to do was we're going to run a SAS controller here and then in this X16 we were going to run a SFP plus uh, 10 gig card in there. Uh, I did set that up originally. I had the, the SAS controller here and the, the uh, 10 gig card here. Uh, and then I moved the video card. We used a, uh, a bit, uh, bit mining deal where it plugged into the PCIe 1 slot and then we had the vertical mount here on the back side, right? Uh, for the actual video card. What I started to notice though, though it, it worked pretty well, uh, it started to lose video from time to time. And, and I wasn't quite sure why. Uh, I just couldn't get the video out of it. And uh, it would kind of like false boot. It just would hang up and it wouldn't boot properly. It was acting very erratic. Uh, so what I found out was that I removed the 10 gig card out of the slot and I inserted the video card straight into this X16, and then the thing ran like a champ. It ran actually really well. Uh, digging around in the BIOS, it looks like this uh, one particular slot right here uh, is grayed out, and it can only be for video, it looks like. It's, it's completely locked down. Whereas other motherboards I've had in the past have always been very optional about that, allowing me to put different cards in that slot. Uh, this motherboard uh, appears to be uh, very much locked down about that. So... What was I able to do with this particular system board? I was able to get it up and running with uh, vSAN uh, using one of the one gigabit, one gigabit ports that are on the back. And then uh, the SAS controller here and then the video card here. I got 6.7 installed. It worked out really well. I had uh, very few problems with it. In fact, I was using this one for, with 6.7 and folding it home. I ran it for uh, two weeks solid at 100% CPU and it ran like a top. It never failed me. It never purple screened. It just worked. It worked out really well. So other things you could do, uh, if you really want that 10 gig card in this particular slot, though the SAS controllers here, you might utilize the, uh, the uh, SATA controllers that are on board and then perhaps the NVMe for additional storage. That way you can kind of make a perhaps a flash style uh, uh, vSAN out of it. I, I personally did not try that, but I could see how someone could. Uh, but you definitely got to have that video in this port. And I think that's one of the real drawbacks about this particular system board is there's no onboard video and it, it poses a real problem. Also, uh, the two NICs in the back, the Realtek NICs that are right here, uh, they're not vSphere 7 supported at all. Really difficult to slipstream those drivers into a vSphere 7 install and then actually get it to accept it. Uh, there's a lot of blogs out there on the internet about folks having trouble with Realtek cards and vSphere 7. Looks like they're not going to be supported. So from a 6.7 standpoint, this is probably is not a bad choice. For a 7.0, vSphere 7.0 standpoint, uh, probably not the best choice. You might look at perhaps a different system board, and that's probably what I'm going to do here real shortly because I do would like to get into 7.0, and I'm probably going to end up swapping out this system board. So folks, that's it. That wraps up this video series. I uh, hope you learned something, enjoyed uh, the videos that I've uh, put together on this particular build. And if you have any questions, please hit the comments below and please do hit subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great day.